All right, so let's take a look at Fuji raw files here and how we have an uncompressed and lossless compressed option. Obviously, uncompressed is uncompressed and lossless compressed, if we read here, raw images are compressed using a reversible, reversible, reversible algorithm that reduces file size with no loss of image data. The images can be viewed in a raw file converter or other compatible software. So this means that the software that you're importing it into, if it supports this lossless compressed file can reverse the algorithm and basically bringing it back to an uncompressed version. So the key here is this word reversible algorithm. Reversible, really not algorithm, but reversible. So in all intents and purposes, this is pretty much a uncompressed version once it's imported into a compatible software. Scrolling down here to the memory card capacity, we see that the raw uncompressed version holds about half of the amount as the raw lossless compressed. So 150 versus 300. And then again, pretty much on this, this isn't with an eight gig card, this is with a 16 bit card. So there you go. Okay, and under file format here, we have the do, 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 the file format here, which is raw original RAF format, uncompressed or compressed using an, a lossless algorithm. Again, special purpose software required. So not all software is gonna be able to open up these uh, lossless compressed files. We're gonna get into that in a, little, in a little bit here. That's all that the manual has to say on this lossless compressed algorithm. Let's go ahead and look at the size of these files. Okay, so I took three sets of shots here. Obviously one is pressed and one is lossless compressed. So two pictures of this, well, pseudo fruit basket, not in a basket, just not lying on a table. I'll just let you know what my settings were. I did use a light meter on my phone to uh, to capture the exposure because I don't really have a, a good light meter yet. Uh, my settings here are ISO 400, 1 8th of a second, 2.8, 27 mil. I was in manual focus as well, so the autofocus wouldn't uh, throw us off here. And I'll just show you guys that here. So 3099 is the uncompressed version, which is 48 megabytes, almost 49 megabytes. Let's go to 100%. And I was focused right on the label of the Chiquita banana here, and you can see that that's pretty perfectly in focus. And if we just zoom out, let's take a look at maybe some finer detail here. And looks like we got some focus here on the tip of the banana, the stem. These pictures were taken with the X-Pro2. And if we come down here, now let's just zoom in to, let's say 200%. Okay, so let's leave this as a reference point and let's go to the lossless compressed and let's go back at 100%. And it looks like we got everything here in focus now with silky pixel you can't do uh i can't well i don't know if you can do it i can't seem to figure out how to do side by side comparisons but what it will do is just keep the settings you have active with the next picture so if i go back to since i'm at 100 percent here if i go back to the uncompressed it's just going to switch the picture and not zoom me back out so at 100 percent Uncompressed, compressed, lossless. Now let's zoom in to 100%, 200%. Uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless. Now I'm just seeing a tiny, tiny difference, but that could be the, that you know the camera was moved like a millimeter but overall the tonality and the colors are exactly the same so maybe we'll have uh different luck on the next photo so let's go to uh, 50 percent and let's go to these box of matches here and this again was uh iso for same settings 400 18 2.8 27 mil lens manual and this is the 30101. So this is the lossless compressed version. And this is the uncompressed. Lossless. Uncompressed. Lossless. Uncompressed. Lossless. 
uncompressed. Let's zoom in at 100%. And let's just take this word here, wah. 30101 is the lossless, lossless version, uncompressed. Lossless version, uncompressed. Let's go 200%. Lossless, uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed. So I'm not really seeing a, a difference here. So let's move on to the, our final image. And this is the lossless compressed. So let that render. Uh, Silky Pix is a little bit slow, I find. So this is the lossless. Oh, sorry, this is the compressed version. 303 RAF, and I'll show, just show you guys here. 303 RAF is the 49 megabit, meg, megabyte version. Uncompressed, compressed, uncompressed, compressed. Let's zoom into 100%. And looks like we got everything pretty sharp here. And this, this is the lossless, and this is the uncompressed, lossless compressed, uncompressed, lossless compressed, uncompressed. I'm not seeing any, any differences really here at all. Let's move into 200%. I'm keeping the film simulation at Provia standard. Okay. Okay, 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 uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless, yeah. All right, so let's go back to 50% here and let's just change the film simulation and let's go into, let's go into Acros and let's just see if by changing it into black and white, if that made any differences at all. So let's go 100%. So this is uncompressed. Let's give it a chance to render here. So uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless. No, I'm not seeing any differences here at all. Uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless, uncompressed, lossless. So we're, this looks like a clear winner here it looks like I'll be setting my camera to lossless compressed version. The rendering speed in Silky Pix seems to be about the same. I'm not noticing any differences in the amount of time it's taking to move around uh, each file. My guess is the the uncompressing or the uh, uncompressing is done right during import, and I didn't notice any uh, differences there. I'll just doesn't seem to be any differences in noise, any differences in tonality, any differences in anything really. I can't see any differences at all here. Let's go into 500%. I'm not seeing here. All right, let's take these uh, lossless files into Lightroom and see what happens. Okay, and here we go with Lightroom. So it was able to bring in the lossless files, 3099, and that is the uncompressed version. And right off the bat, before we even get into the compressed versus uncompressed version, I just wanna show you the difference between Silky Pix and Lightroom. Cause I noticed it right off the bat here and you guys will probably hopefully notice it as well. I know it's harder to see this through YouTube, but you can see that the Lightroom file just has more of a, like a haze over it. You can see just how much sharper, if you look at the stem of the banana, you can just see how much sharper that is and how, how much more contrast and detailed this shot is from the Lightroom import. It's harder to notice in this particular image, but you can see that this part right here of the uh, label is much more detailed and just has more, just more, it's more contrasty. It's, it's sharper. 
Uh, the blue in the label here is a little bit deeper. Anyways, okay, so let's get off that. Let's just see what Lightroom has to say versus the uh, compressed and uncompressed version. So this is the uncompressed version, 3099, uncompressed, uncompressed, lossless compressed, uncompressed, lossless compressed, and we're at one to one at both. So one to one, to one, It seems to me that they're pretty close. Let's just quickly move on. I mean, they look identical. I don't wanna say pretty close, they look identical to me. Okay, let's just go straight into two to one here. This is the, it should be the lossless compressed version, 301. Yes, this is lossless compressed. And let's go to the uncompressed, 302, lossless, uncompressed, 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 lossless. So I'm going to say no difference in the lossless versus compressed, but I will tell you again, I'll bring this up. And I'll bring 303 with Provia Standard. So now I have, I have, sorry, I have, now I have Lightroom on Provia Standard. Matches the uh, Silky Picks. And let's just do a quick compare. Again, this file just completely obliterates the Lightroom. There's like a haze over the Lightroom image. Okay, and I have calibrated monitors as well. Just more contrasty and that haze is gone. All right, I'm, I'm going to stop bitching about that. All right, so after that analysis, I'm pretty much sold on the lossless compression algorithm. So I'll be setting my Fuji X-Pro2 and any other X-Series cameras that I have that, will, that do support lossless compression to the lossless mode. I don't see any difference. All I see is a benefit and gain of basically doubling the amount of files on your SD card. We don't see any issues importing lossless files in Lightroom or Silky Picks in terms of speed. Uh, my recommendation, guys, do your own tests. Obviously, this is not a lab. You know, the monitors are calibrated, and I did the best I could to take the exact same shots, very still on a tripod and everything, and then looking at them through the software. But do your own testing. See what you find out. My recommendation is turn lossless compression on.